Hi students, this is Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor. In this session, we are going to solve some problems related to normality using normal formulas and shortcut methods. This will be definitely useful for you to finish the problems within few minutes. See, uh, before starting with the problems, uh, first we should follow some uh, uh, steps okay, for calculating normality. The first step is we should calculate the equivalent weight of the solute. So for calculating normality, we should calculate the equivalent weight of the solute. How to calculate the equivalent weight of the solute? Uh, if you know the molecular mass, then it is possible to calculate the equivalent weight. You should know the valency also. So by calculating molecular mass and knowing the valency, it is possible to calculate equivalent weight. Second step, you should calculate the gram equivalent weight of the solute. How to calculate gram equivalent weight of the solute? From the weight of the, if you know the weight of the solute and equivalent weight of the solute, it is possible to calculate the gram equivalent weight of the, uh, gram equivalent weight of the solute, okay. Next, finally you want to calculate the normality. So see, normally, normality will be expressed by the term capital N. It is calculated from this formula. It is nothing but weight of the solute divided by equivalent weight of the solute into volume of the solution. See this volume of the solution should be in liters. Okay. So normality is weight of the solute by equivalent weight of the solute into volume of the solution in liters. What is weight of the solute uh, by uh, what is this uh, weight? See this weight of the solute and uh, uh, equivalent weight of the solute. Weight of the solute by equivalent weight is nothing but gram equivalent weight. So normality is gram, number of gram equivalent of a solute in volume of the solution per liter okay so in liters right so this is the formula for normality okay so for if you follow all these steps it is very easy to calculate the normality okay we will see how to calculate normality let us see some problems right read the first problem students calculate the normality of 0 0.425 grams of sodium carbonate when it mixes in a 250 ml solution calculate the normality of 0 0.425 grams of sodium carbonate. See before starting the problem first you should write down the given datas okay. Let us start by writing the given datas. What are the given datas? Two datas are given. One is weight of the uh, solute and next one is volume of the solution. <coughs> so weight of the sol solute, weight of sodium carbonate okay sodium carbonate is the solute okay weight of sodium carbonate it is 0 0.425 grams okay next one is volume of the solution volume of solution is given volume of solution so volume of solution is given and it is 250 ml See, it is given in ml, the volume is given in ml. It should be converted to liters. If you are not converting it to liters, you should multiply the formula by 1000, okay. Now, let us uh, find out the solution. What is the solution for this problem? First, let us write the uh, formula for normality. Normality is equal to weight of solute in grams, weight of solute in grams divided by equivalent weight of the solute equivalent weight of the solute equivalent weight of the solute into volume of the solution in liters volume of solution in liters okay since it is given in 250 m it is given in ml we should multiply the whole formula by 1000 so let us write the values first what is the uh, weight of the solute in grams it is 0 0.425 is it not and we don't know the equivalent weight of the solute that should be calculated how to calculate the equivalent weight of the solute how to calculate the equivalent weight of the solute students See, it can be calculated by dividing the molecular mass, molecular mass of the solute divided by uh, valency, either valency 
you can write as valency or charge on the ion okay either valency or charge on the ion or acidity or basicity so anything you can write so first we shall so here you should substitute 53 in the equivalent weight of the solute into volume of the solution it is 250 ml volume of the solution is given as 250 okay it is given in ml so you should multiply here with 1000 okay if you are not multiplying with 1000 your answer will be wrong since the value is given in ml you should multiply with 1000 if it is given in liters you don't want to multiply with 1000 okay so find out the answer see actually the answer is 0.032 n so this is the answer right so uh, i hope you might have understood right we will move on to the next problem now read the next problem students calculate the normality of 4.9 percentage weight by volume see the it is given in weight by volume sodium hydroxide solution calculate the normality of 4.9 percentage sodium hydroxide solution what is 4.9 it is weight by volume that is uh, 4.9 grams of a solute is dissolved in 100 ml of the solution since it is, since it is given v it is 100 ml of the solution so first let us write the given data okay we should write the given data so that you can uh, uh, very well uh, find out the answer easily so 4.9 right so 4.9 percentage that is weight by volume sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide solution okay so from this data we can arrive at the following things what is 4.9 percentage weight by volume that means weight of the solute weight of the solute that is sodium hydroxide weight of solute is 4.9 grams 4.9 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide is dissolved in volume of see it is present in volume of the solution volume of the solution is equal to 100 ml see the 4.9 grams of sodium hydroxide is is present in 100 ml of the solution okay now you are asked to calculate the normality so let us uh, find out right let us write the solution normality what is the formula for normality normality is equal to weight of solute divided by equivalent weight of solute into volume of the solution right volume of solution in liters okay so now you find out write down the uh, values so weight of solute it is 4.9 divided by what is the equivalent weight of the solute for sodium hydroxide we should find out the equivalent weight of the solute 4.9 divided by 40 into what is the volume of solution 100 is it not 100 since it is given in ml we are multiplying the equation by 1000 so what is the answer it is 1.225 n understood students this is how you should calculate if the calculate normality if the if the data given is in weight by volume that is it, in, it is given in percentage okay so you shall see the next problem now read the problem students calculate the normality of 0 0.05 molar sulfuric acid solution and find out the relationship between the molarity and normality of the solution thus obtained see they are asking you to calculate the normality of the solu sulfuric acid solution but the data given is in molar see they are they have given the molarity the concentration of the solution sulfuric acid is given in molar okay so concentration is expressed in molar and you are asked to calculate the normality of the same solution and then they are asking you to uh, relate both uh, after finding out the answer you are asked to relate the values how normality is related to molarity okay so uh, let us see see for this problem we will write the data first given molarity of H2SO4 solution
is equal to 0 0.05 okay 0 05 m and you are asked to calculate the normality okay so here you don't want to make use of the normal formula normality is equal to weight of the solid by equivalent weight into volume of the solution that you don't want to use instead you can make use of this formula so normality is equal to n into molarity see n is nothing but the uh, valency or uh, you can uh, can write as a basicity if it is acid you can write as basicity if it is a base you can tell us tell us acidity okay so here of course you can uh, tell that n is also the charge on the ion right so now you are going to find out n for sulfuric acid h2so4 how it dissociates how this uh, this one dissociates 2h plus plus so4 2 minus see what is the charge on the ion 2 minus here it is 2 plus right so n value is 2 here okay n value is 2 so 2 into what is the molarity of the solution 0 0.05 so what is the answer students it is 0 0.1 right it is 0 0.1 n it is 0.1 n so now note down these two values the next one what is us we have found out the normality of the solution now now what is the next question find out the relationship between molarity and normality so now here the value of molarity is 0 0.05 whereas the normality value is 0.1 that shows that from the value of normality is observed that normality is twice that of molarity okay so the next answer this is the first answer right this is first answer second answer normality is twice normality is twice that, that that of molarity of this of sulfuric acid of molarity right it is it is uh, uh, noted from the answer here it is 0.05 here it is 0.1 so I, I hope you might have understood we shall see the next problem right read the problem students calculate the mass of the solute in 200 centimeter cube of n by 10 koh See here, they are, uh, in the previous problems, we were calculating the normality of the solution. But here in this problem, they are asking you to calculate the mass of the solute from uh, from uh, the from the uh, see uh, from mass of the solute and the data given are volume of the solution as well as normality. Volume and normality are given, and they are asking you to calculate the mass of the solute. So first, let us write the data given volume of the solution. volume of the solution is 200 centimeter cube here it is given in centimeters right and then next one is normality normality of KOH solution okay and it is given as n by 10 that means it is we can take n as 1 1 by 10 mean that is 0.1 n okay it is 0.1 n and you are asked to calculate the weight of potassium hydroxide okay you are asked to calculate the weight of the solute right weight of the solute it is asked we'll we'll uh, uh, start doing see first we shall write down the uh, formula for normality see normality is equal to weight of the so number of number of gram equivalents okay number of gram equivalent of solute number of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of the solution divided by volume of solution okay into thousand since it is given in centimeter cube i am writing as thousand okay and how to calculate the number of gram equivalent see number of gram equivalent is number of gram equivalent is equal to weight of solute divided by 
divided by equivalent weight of the solute okay equivalent weight of solute see uh, you just check these two formulas see from see first we are asked to calculate the weight of the solute that is the question asked okay only if you know the number of gram equivalent you can it is possible to calculate the weight of the solute so but we from the data it's given volume of the solution is given and normality of the solution is also given so normality we know and volume of the solution also we know so from these two data it is possible to calculate the number of gram equivalent so after finding out the number of gram equivalent if you are calculating the equivalent weight of the solute from these two data it is possible to calculate the weight of the solute this is what we are going to do okay so we'll we'll uh, do one by one so first we are going to calculate the uh, number of gram equivalent okay gram equivalent gram equivalent of solute is equal to the gram equivalent of solute is equal to normality of the uh, solution 0.1 into volume of the solution divided by 1000 okay divided by 1000 that's from these two values it's possible to calculate the gram equivalent of the solute so it is 0.02 now we are going to use this value here if you know we, we know number of gram equivalent so not we know the number of gram equivalent but we don't know the equivalent weight of the solute first we sh should calculate the equivalent weight of the solute how to calculate equivalent weight of the solute for potassium hydroxide see k uh, atomic number atomic weight of potassium is 39 atomic weight atomic weight of uh, oxygen is 16 okay and atomic weight of hydrogen is 1 so altogether the molecular mass is 56 okay it is 56 see here and the potassium hydroxide how it dissociates if you want to know the valency k plus oh minus okay so here here the charge is 1 so molecular mass and equivalent equivalent weight both are the same for potassium hydroxide it is 56 so now we know the number of gram equivalent that is 0.02 and now we know the equivalent weight of potassium hydroxide also now we know the equivalent weight of potassium hydroxide also so we are going to substitute now so number of what is the uh, let me write uh, the formula again number of gram equivalent into uh, equivalent weight will give the weight of the solute okay weight of the solute right so uh, write down the values 0.02 into 56 okay into 56 will give the weight of the solute it is 1.12 grams okay so finally we have found out the answer so this is how we should do right this is how we should calculate the mass of the solute from if the volume of the solution and normality is given we'll shall move on to the next problem now read the problem students a sodium hydroxide solution has a density of 1.11 g per ml and is 10% sodium hydroxide by weight calculate the normality of sodium hydroxide in this base see the in the problem the solute is sodium hydroxide and here what are the data is given density of sodium hydroxide solution as well as the mass percentage is also given okay mass percentage is given and the density is given so from these two values you are asked to calculate the normality see here you don't want to go in depth okay you don't want to think whether uh, how to uh, whether we want to uh, 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 write as 10 percentage means 10 grams of solute in 100 ml of uh, a solution all those things you don't want to take into account directly you can uh, do the problem by using a shortcut formula see uh, let me write the given data first given data mass percentage mass percentage is equal to 10 then what else is given density of the solution density of the solution and it is 1.11 g per ml 1.11 g per ml okay so now you are going to find out the solution 
So, let me write the uh, formula first. So, normality is equal to so what formula you are going to use is normality is equal to mass percentage into density of the solution density of the solution into 10 divided by equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide okay so the mass percentage is given what is the mass percentage it is 10 into density is 1.11 into 10 what is the equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide it can NaOH atomic weight of sodium is 23 oxygen is 16 and hydrogen is 1 okay so altogether it is 40 so you can substitute 40 here because molecular mass and equivalent mass for sodium hydroxide is 1 because the valency of sodium is 1 right so uh, you can write here as 40 so the answer is 2.77 n okay this is how you should calculate okay students i hope you might have understood all the problems with this I am signing off today. We shall meet in the next session with different sets of questioners and solutions. Thanks for watching.